Hello, how are you getting on? Welcome to episode two of Tasting Snacks from All Over the World. I haven't really come up with a title for the series yet, but we're gonna eat snacks from every country on the planet. Uh, today we have South Africa, very exotic. Um, we've loads of interesting things, such as these uh, dried sausages. Um, they look a bit scary, but I'm sure they're delicious. And a load of other mysterious uh, items. They all have sticky notes on them, describing them. We'll just get straight into it, let's go. So I'm gonna start off with this dried sausage because it's the thing that I think I'm the most afraid of. Uh, it's in this kind of vacuum sealed pack. This is called uh, Drew Wars. Drew Wars. 50 grams, a uh, fine number of grams for dried sausages. Uh, how do I get in? How do I get into you? Okay, I had to go and get a knife to open this. Um, so I've had some difficulty entering the sausages, so probably not a snack for on the go. Let's have a look at it. V very black, sort of worryingly black. It looks a lot like black pudding, or uh, I think other people call it blood sausage, but we call it black pudding here in Ireland, but it looks all sort of dried out. So let's have a go with this. It looks like it might taste very strong. So well, let me just read the instructions just to make sure I'm not gonna die if I eat it the wrong way. Okay, I've read the note and I think it's safe for me to just take a bite out of it. Let's go. It's very chewy. It's extremely chewy. It's a bit chewier than I would love. It took me about a minute and a half just to eat that tiny bite. The taste is very nice. It's very, it's a very strong meaty taste. So if you don't like meat, you're probably not gonna like this. Um, it's not very spicy. It's just, it's like a very powerful attack of meat on the tongue. I'm a fan of it, I like it. We have also, we also have this, it's called biltong. Uh, this is like a dried beef. It sort of looks like a, a beef jerky. So let's have a go with that. There it is there now, let's give it a smell. Quite a pungent odor coming from it. Now let's have a go. Again, if you go to South Africa, you better have your chewing muscles ready. It's very like beef jerky, maybe slight, there's, it feels like there's slightly more moisture content in it, it's not as dry. It's very good, I like beef jerky. If you like beef jerky, then you'll like a bit of uh, uh, a bit of biltong. Next up, we have this uh, Montague. Montague. Uh, sorry for not being able to pronounce anything that's not from Ireland. That will be a running theme in this series. But this is uh, dried fruit. Apparently, Montague is a very hot town, and it's a popular place to dry out fruit. It's just these kind of little dried up squares. I'm going to go in blind without looking at what fruit I'm dealing with here. A bit of a surprise in the mouth. Yeah, that's very good. I'm trying to find out what fruits they are, but I can't seem to find it on the packet. Uh, some of the back of the packet is a bit rubbed out. Uh, maybe somebody doesn't want me to know their secret, but it's nice. I don't know what's in it, but it's good. Um, if you're allergic to any fruits, probably Google it first, but I, I think I'm fine. So next up we have these uh, rusks. This is apparently like bits of dried up cake. Uh, in Ireland, rusks is something that you give to a baby. It's like a little sort of cracker thing that babies eat because you can dissolve it without having any teeth. Uh, I'll give that a test to see if this will be useful to toothless people who may be watching. There it is there now. So apparently this is generally had with a bit of coffee in the morning. They might have it as a light breakfast. Let's have a go. Oh, it's very hard. It's very crunchy. It just tastes like a giant biscuit. It's very nice, subtle sweetness to it. Nice crunch. I will say in contrast to the rusks we have here in Ireland, I probably wouldn't eat this if you have no teeth. I'm actually making quite a bit of use of my teeth while I'm eating this. Right, after all that dry stuff, I am working up a bit of a thirst, so I think it's time for a drink. This is cream soda. Now I have had cream soda before, um, but let's see what South African cream soda is like. Sparlata cream soda, let's have a go. Oh, it's green. That's not the color I was expecting it to be, look there. I'm gonna get a glass so you can see the color. Okay, I've got a glass here for visual purposes so you can see. There you can see it's quite a strong green color. I would say there are definitely some artificial colors going on in there. Um, that does not look like a natural green from Mother Earth. It's delicious, tastes like cream soda if you've had it before. It tastes absolutely nothing like it looks. So when you taste it, it's a bit of a culture shock when you're looking at it. 
It's a lot less loud in the mouth than it is in the eyes. But yeah, I'll enjoy this as a palate cleanser now between the other snacks. So next up we have these coffee cookies. Um, apparently these are like the South African version of Biscoff cookies. Let's have a go. Okay, there it is. Uh, it's two cookies and then there's sort of a brown paste in the middle that's holding the two cookies together. It looks delicious. It smells very good. Quite. It smells like coffee cake. Bit of a chewy texture. Quite a strong coffee taste, very grainy. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not a fan of these. These are the first thing I haven't really liked so far. Um, so yeah, there they are, coffee cookies. I wouldn't highly recommend them, uh, but if you love co coffee and graininess, then you might enjoy them. Let's do a quick palate cleanse. I feel like I'm gonna turn green if I keep drinking this. It is a very nice drink though, it's just the color that's slightly concerning me. So next up we have Blushies Hard Candy. There it is there now. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you, it smells a bit like soap, which is something generally I don't like the taste of. Let's have a go. It tastes also a bit like soap. Um, I'm sorry, South Africa, I was enjoying you there for a while. The coffee cookies and the weird soap blushy things. Not for me. The taste of the blushies is very strong and it won't go away. Next up we have Peppermint Crisp. It looks kind of like a mint aero. There's a very dark green color on the inside. Let's have a quick taste. Oh, it's very crispy. Oh, it's very minty. That's really chewy now. Okay, that was surprising in almost every way a bar could surprise you. Wasn't expecting the crunch, wasn't expecting the blast of mint. It tastes a lot like an after eight, if you've ever had an after eight. The mint flavor is very strong. This stuff is like sort of crunchy crystals in the middle. It's, it's not bad, but I'm gonna be honest with you, South Africa, it is a weird vibe. Um, almost every decision they've made in the recipe here is probably not one I would have gone with. It's, it's pretty good though. It's strange. I don't know if you can see this properly, but the inside green stuff looks like kryptonite. Okay, so some of these snacks are a bit hit and miss with me, but I'm definitely feeling very exotic eating them. Next up we have these toasted marshmallows. Apparently these are also called uh, gr granny cheeks. Uh, marshmallow coated in roasted coconut. It's a South African oldie, let's have a go. This looks like something I will enjoy, let's go in. Yeah, they're nice, I like them. If you like marshmallows and you like coconut, you're in business. Lovely texture, lovely flavor. Big fan of them, I'd have them again. Knickknacks, I feel like we used to have these in Ireland, uh, but we definitely don't anymore. I don't remember if they were cheese flavor. I feel like they were a different flavor. Cool packet, we have a cool customer here up on top with cool sunglasses on them. Let's have a go. There it is, I'm almost certain we used to have these in Ireland, but let's go. Nice. Kind of tastes like a Cheeto. Let's be honest, anything with even the idea of cheese involved in it is delicious. I really like the cheesy knickknacks. Probably, probably my favorite thing so far. Okay, so next up we have Coac Sisters. Um, she said, some people will kill for these sugary goodness. I have really got not much of an idea what I am looking at here. It is some sort of a, uh, it's kind of a gooey fruit. There's a syrup on it. It smells, it smells a bit like a Danish, um, I don't know, I'm just gonna go in. I'm a bit afraid of this, if I'm honest, I'm not sure what to expect. I have absolutely no idea what it is. It tastes like a kind of oily pastry that's been dipped in a sugary syrup and it tastes very oily. Um, it, it's nice, I like it, I have no idea what it is. Uh, it's confusing to me, but the flavor is good. Um, V weird. I mean, one of the weirdest things I've ever even held in my hand, and now it's in my body. Um, I'm a fan of this. Very weird. I've got to wash my hands after that because they're very syrupy. Fizzlers, these look like a chewy sweet. Apparently they're a South African classic. I'm gonna go for the green one. I'm gonna have a little taste of him. Okay, there he is. Let's have a little go. Fizzlers, very nice. I'm a fan of these. They kind of remind me of like uh, refresher sweets here in Ireland if you ever had them, but they're like a softer version of them. 
There's a little bit of kind of sherbet-y uh, mayhem going on on the inside. I'm a big fan of it. One of my favorite things from here, definitely very nice. So, final thing I have to try is this very exotic hot drink. This is a uh, Ru Ru Ruibos, Ru Ru Ruibos. How do you say this? I've seen it, I have it in the house. I have Ruibos tea, but I, I never learned how to say it. R Ruibos? Let's have a go, but I'll put the kettle on. Okay, here it is, our Roy Boy's Cappuccino. I put it in a clear bottle so you could see it better. Um, I actually don't think that really helped that much. It's kind of foggy, so it probably would have looked better just in a cup, but I tried it out. I thought it would be good for the viewer. Um, okay, let's have a go, but I put a tiny bit of milk in to cool it down because I don't like things too hot. Let's have a go of our Roy Boy's Cappuccino. That's nice. We'll have another go of it. That's lovely. It tastes like a cappuccino, but it's just a little bit more exotic. I'm not positive I was supposed to put the milk in, uh, but it was still nice even if I did it wrong. Uh, yeah, it tastes like a cappuccino when you're drinking it, but then there's this little kind of twinge of something a bit exotic, and I don't really understand it, but I'm enjoying it. Overall, South Africa, I'm impressed. Some of the things didn't quite work in my personal mouth. Um, I didn't necessarily enjoy them. I like that you went weird with it. I still have absolutely no idea what this is. It doesn't even look like it's from Earth, but I enjoyed it. So some hits, some misses, but you went hard. It was cultural, it was exotic. I'm gonna give South Africa a seven out of 10 in the Snack Olympics. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you did, you can like it and subscribe to me. I'm nearly at 100,000 subscribers. If you didn't like it, you are at the end of the video. So you've wasted your time. It didn't hurt me. You only hurt yourself. Until next time, stay delicious.